Good afternoon. I'm Casey Rogers, and I'm going to just continue with the grant review process. Um, it's, it's really good to hear positive feedback from what the regional managers are doing. That lets us know that we're moving in the right direction and that we're trying to uh, improve this process um, yearly. So, you know, any comments, recommendation that just helps us improve that process. Um, but with the grant review process, um, you have the application process, um, then you have the awarding process, and that kind of that's kind of what our awarding section does when the applications are received. So uh, today, I hope to you know let you guys uh, demonstrate or demonstrate that uh, when we receive the applications, um, the budget information that's received, um, and then eventually producing an awards letter. Um, to you guys letting you know that uh, you have been approved for your federal funds. So let's start off with um, an award. Um, just FTA provides assistance um, to recipients uh, to carry out the scope of the work um, the FTA has approved. The award is also uh, includes requirements of all document terms and conditions incorporated by reference and made part of the grant or cooperative agreement. Uh, there's also an award budget, which is just the federal and non-federal share, or just the federal share as determined by FTA or the pass-through entity. Uh, in our case, ALDOT, we act as the pass-through entity. Uh, and continuing on, this is kind of the step-by-step. -step. Um, so I, I really made it foundational. Um, so just like Sandra and Lauren was up, um, when, you re when we receive the applications, where they're sent out, um, normally you guys get them off the website. Um, they're returned by mail. Um, and then there's a um, SAMS review system for awards management. And just like Sandra alluded to, they are checking um, that SAMS review. And basically entities must be um, Registered in SAMS, listed in active status, and have no exclusions in order to receive funding uh, for federal grants, so to speak. Um, once the applications are uh, once the applications are in, the regional managers, uh, you know, they go through their checklist, make sure everything they they approve, disapprove at their level. Um, they're making sure the application is clean, meaning that all the required documents are in there, um, everything is accurate. Um, if you, you know, we're, we're kind of going through that process now where they are, you know, they're probably requesting additional information. Um, if, if some budget piece is, is off, you got to send that information to them. All that has to be um, complete, so to speak, before they write that approval letter to ALDI. Um, um, once that process is completed, um, um, if an agreement is needed, um, we'll normally send that out. We'll normally uh, send an agreement out uh, to the agency. And just like, for example, our 5311, 5307 program, those agreements are uh, done on a three-year cycle, so to speak. Um, our 5310 program is done on an annual basis because normally um, you're in vehicles and we have to have an agreement uh, for the application yearly. The agreements are verified and signed by ALDOT's legal team, and it's also uh, signed by the governor. Um, the awards team, our awards team here, um, established the project budget. Uh, what they're looking for is um, the data sheets, uh, they, they review the data sheets, and I'll give you examples of that uh, a little bit later here, but they're the data sheet review for the budgets, and they also initiate our projects in CPMS, so the CPMS, so they create the projects. Um, these next slides here um, needs to be completed in its, in, in its entirety. Um, what I'm going to show you is just an example of some of the budget sheets, budget information sheets 
concerning our 5311 process, uh, uh, current data sheet. So this is an example of a current data sheet. And basically, um, it's, it's the agency's information. Um, you see your funding summary down, you know, your, your lenders know, um, you're, you're getting operating, admin, uh, capital planning, whatever your need, budget needs are, your lenders know that here. And if you also see on that sheet, there's the DUNS number. And what the regional manager does is they take that DUNS number and that's how they um, verify that you are active in SAMS. Because once they check that DUNS number, it's going to let them know if, you know, this, your expiration date on it. Okay, line item budget sheet here. Um, this is standard. Um, this is something the regional managers check. Um, this, this lets, you're letting us know that um, these expenses, these are eligible expenses that you're asking us to reimburse you for. And notice um, the totals are highlighted here because on your, on your next slide, the abundant uh, fund sheet, they're gonna correspond you know, the region manager's checking all this to make sure um, those totals corresponds up here on this budget fund sheet. Um, the, and basically this sheet is just breaking it down, like operating is 50-50, 50% uh, federal, 50% uh, you know, local share. So it's, it's breaking the numbers down and it's also showing you um, uh, where uh, the agencies are getting their local um, money from, whether it's contracts, county commission, all that information, is, and likewise with admin and capital, all that money, all that breakdown is listed on this sheet here. Uh, our awards team also look at the, the uh, vehicle uh, sheets, which this is the vehicle request uh, form, and here's an uh, example of this vehicle uh, request sheet here. Uh, basically, you, you fill out this entire, you let us know your vehicle needs. Um, if you're, you know, if you want six minivans, you, um, you're putting it here, and you let us know whether it's replacement or expansion. Uh, that's, that's, that's very important to know. Uh, because the next slide is your vehicle replacement form. Um, and here's an example of, of, of this sheet here. Um, and it's like I was alluding to on the previous slide that if, if you're, if you're asking for six minivans and you're saying it's going to be replaced, then all that, those six uh, vehicles that you're replacing needs to be listed on this sheet. Uh, Mr. Tommy keeps, keeps that in his access database. And if this sheet is wrong, you know, he, he, he tends to get a little bent out of shape sometimes. Um, next is, is just our 5310 process, um, the budget sheets that the award team is pulling, that they're specifically looking at for our 5310 process. And some of the sheets, um, it's gonna be the same. Um, some of them is a little different. The current data sheet for the 5310 pro process, you see it's, it's, it's a little different, but it's kind of the same information. Um, your agency's information, your lenders know. Um, if it's new agency, your current, 5310, uh, what are you doing? Purchase trans, uh, what are you owning vehicles, um, or non vehicle capital? And at the bottom here, um, your lenders know your total cost, the federal share of that. Uh, again, the vehicle request form is the same, it's the same sheet. Uh, we just ask that it's complete in its entirety. Uh, just lenders know your vehicle needs. And so the vehicle request form. Um, just, it's just very important that whatever you're asking to be replaced has to uh, correspond to this sheet. If you're replacing six, it has to be six vehicles on here. Um, and also in our 5310 process, um, you can also you can do purchase transportation. Um, so you will fill out this form. Here's an example here, but you will fill that form out um, if you're doing purchase purchase transportation. Uh, which is the uh, ac acquisition of transportation services on the contract or lease, uh, both capital and operation costs uh, associated with those contracted services uh, um, are eligible capital expenses. So it's 80-20. Um, if, if, you, if, you if you're not doing purchase strands or 
any non vehicle capital, then you would just put NA, you would leave this sheet blank. Um, so those sheets is what our warden session looks like to um, start developing uh, the budget for your agency. Um, and then we will produce an awards letter, uh, which is um, generated um, to the agency stating the amount that you, um, the agency is awarded for. Uh, so this, this is an example of um, the awards letter for like a 5311 agency. It, 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 just, it, it basically shows you know, the, your, what you want in uh, operations, um, admin, and I know you guys are used to seeing it, uh, but it shows your federal share and your distribution codes, and you and you will put the distribution code information on your F25. That's how we reimburse you for uh, what you're asking us to. And this next example, I just wanted to show um, an award letter for just a 5310 agency because normally they're ordering vehicles. Um, so once their, their information as far as the agreement comes in um, and we fully execute the governor, governor signs it, uh, we send them, we'll send out a letter that basically says that, you know, here's a fully executed agreement um, between the state of Alabama and your agency. And, you know, if you have any uh, vehicle schedule and delivery reports, and of course you contact Mr. Tommy Thompson here. If you have any questions about the contract, you contact myself. Um, but responsibilities um, of the management of awards. Uh, recipients are responsible for um, the day-to-day -day management of the awards. They provide assistance for eligible activities, for project FTA monitors awards and the federal assistance projects. They're honored to conform that recipients establish and follow procedures that comply with federal requirements and the terms and conditions. Um, with that being said, I, I hope I kind of, you know, you know, from when we get the application and um, for you guys to kind of see, you know, what kind of process our awarding team uh, goes through uh, to prepare your budgets, uh, the documents, and to eventually get that letter, get that awards letter. Uh, so I thank you guys for listening. Um, if you have any questions or comments.